Hey guys, I'm Strider. Welcome to my second episode of Because We All Need More Dailies, my series where I rush through TOS patch notes and changes on a less than daily schedule. IMC is finally adding more endgame content, specifically a new raid and new endgame gear. In Velcoffers Nest, you have 60 minutes to complete an increasingly more difficult raid for Velcoffers cubes. These cubes drop through level 360 equipment mats, Velcoffer costumes, Velcoffer cards, and other loot. When players enter the dungeon, they're cursed with Velcoffer's curse, a passive debuff that scales to get worse. It increases by 1 stack per second, and at 100 stacks, the erosion debuff is applied and continues to get worse as time goes on. The debuff is further amplified at stage levels. At stage 1, there are no additional effects. At stage 2, you receive damage every 5 seconds, which scales with whatever stage you're on. At stage 3, you also suffer extra on-hit damage. At stage 4, nearby allies are affected by the erosion debuff. At stage 5, you receive CC'd every 10 seconds for 3 seconds. You get no silver or XP for clearing Velcoffers and your party can only use 5 souls crystals, and if you fail to get a cube, you're given back your dungeon entry. To get new 360 gear, collect spirit fragments from Valkoffer cubes and take them to the new blacksmith in northeast of Damien. Alternatively, you can also roll weapons and armor from the cubes in addition to accessories which can only be found in the cubes. To complement the new gear, IMC adds a new stat system which allows players to add special effects to sets of legend tier items. Refer to the link in the description for details. Transcendence has received an overdue overhaul. Transcendence values now only increase by 10% instead of 20% for all equipment. Attack and defense values of all equipment are now 1.5 times what they were in weapons, and 1.7 times what they were in armor. Armor enhancement increments have also been increased by 1.25 times. Transcendence will also be reset and all busted gems refunded. Retrieve yours in the Market Retrieval tab. Transcendent items can now also be traded and sold in the market. Potential of all currently transcendent items will also increase by 1, meaning your currently untradable items will become tradable. Salus has also been adjusted. You now only receive one gem for Salus missions, regardless of token use. Every day, three characters on your team will get Sister Ice Gift which gives two cubes and a completed gem drop rates have also been greatly increased in busted cubes. This only takes effect on new cubes, so there isn't a point in hoarding old ones. Shard drop rates have also been tripled in hunting grounds, and elite monsters now have a 10% chance of dropping extra shards when defeated. In addition to TBL and Territory Wars, they've added Gemstone Feud, a mode where you compete for useful items. You cannot enter as a party, you must be level 350 above, and it opens four times a day as shown on the screen. To play, you compete against the enemy team to kill monsters and destroy crystal stones to collect as many gemstones as possible, and then exchange it for points at the end of NPC. You can kill players of the same team and steal a portion of their gemstones, and once the timer hits 15 minutes, the team with the most points wins. The winning team receives 500 badges, and the losers receive 100. You receive bonus badges based on how useful you were. After the game, you can exchange badges for cool rewards. The Gear Up Festival is here for almost all characters. Experience 50% Transcendence discounts on even numbered Transcendence stages. Exchange your gems at Clopeta or Orsha for attribute points, a diamond anvil, or a rank or stat reset voucher. Log in during the event and receive an enhancement package with anvils. Enjoy 50% enhancement discounts on all items. In another event, you can find secret trio crystals in the areas shown on the screen. Hunt mobs for 5 minutes and you may see a secret crystal appear. Destroy the crystal and receive a movement speed buff, or attribute points, and if you're lucky, a trio crystal cube. This patch finishes off with a new Blessed Cube, Letitia's Cube getting murked, and a various class ability changes. Thanks for watching.